Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about how to use the FX3 with a cageless rig, or even rigging up your A7S III or any other cameras. Most of these rig components I've used from two other cameras that I've used in the past, so it's a worthwhile investment. Uh, so let's get into that. But before we do, I wanted to announce uh, we're giving away a monitor for our uh, any new subscribers and our old subscribers, uh, and we'll be announcing that in three weeks. We're giving away the OC 4K 5.5 screen. Now this is a great monitor, especially for a smaller format camera, but you can use this on your Blackmagic camera, your Sony cameras, whatever cameras it is. It is uh, HDMI. It's gonna be great. It's got everything that you need in it and we're giving this one away. So please remember to follow, like, and subscribe and you can check us out on Instagram as well. Um, and please leave a comment and tell us why you would want this monitor and what do you need it for. Uh, this is a very lightweight monitor, would work well for either a gimbal or right onboard camera and just keep your rig light. And I'm gonna get into that in a bit. So let's get into this video. One of the most exciting parts about getting this FX3 is the fact that I can really keep it small and it's really easy to use. It just gives me the flexibility to be everywhere, anywhere, pack it light, uh, use it for smaller production, not have to take a whole bunch of stuff with me. And I can also rig this out to be a proper production camera, still keeping it light, but giving it nice weight, even if I'm using it for handheld. So let's get into certain components. So your camera obviously doesn't come with a lens or the plate. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the basics and I wanna talk about the XLR and some of the issues I found with that and some things to fix it. We've got the uh, XLR adapter here, which is a great adapter and the sound quality out of this adapter is incredible. It's great. Uh, the problem is when using any sort of mic, like this is the NTG4 Plus, I believe, um, is that if I take this foam out, which I just use foam to hold it, and I put this in normally, lock it up, what happens is it just slides in and out. Now, I'm not sure you know, how your mic is set up, but I've run into this a few of my mics with this adapter. Uh, quick, easy fix would be just to put you know, some gaffer tape around it and make it a little bit thicker. I use some foam that I had inserts from one of my cases. Uh, and then what that does is obviously keeps it nice, you know, and sturdy inside. So now it doesn't slide out. I can balance it out. I can bring it in forward a little bit if I want or adjust it without having to worry that it's going to fall out, which obviously is a problem. Uh, but now, you know, this setup is nice and easy. So I'm going to hook this up to the camera and show you the basic uh, set up how I have it, how I can add a monitor to it and make it comfortable to use with this uh, XLR unit. First things first, again, I mentioned this in my other video, which I'll link up, but make sure you keep this on here because this will get damaged at some point. Uh, I've had one of my cameras where this wasn't working anymore and I usually didn't use it, but I did want to use it at one point and stopped working because either dust got in there or I hit it, it scratched it, something went on with it. So I'm really careful. Same with this audio in it. Make sure that you put the cap on if you're not using it because this can easily, easily break. So let's put this together and see what that looks like. So now we have a basic kind of run and gun package. We've got our handle, we've got our XLR unit up top, and then we've got the cable here. Now, um, this particular clip is gonna be hugely important for you if you wanna make sure that you're keeping uh, your wires kind of contained. So if you wanted to use it, what's great about it is you just plug it into any quarter 20 and I will leave the link below to this. But now you can kind of clean up your wire, uh, make it tight, you know, adjust it, and it holds really, really nicely and keeps things out of the way. So this would be kind of like a really run and go uh, situation for me. This would be the lightest rig that I would probably hook this up. I'd most likely have, uh, you know, continuous focus or autofocus lens, a, a native lens or a Sigma lens if I had it specifically for Sony. And I'll talk about using adapters as well. Uh, but this would be kind of like the lightest version that I would have uh, this kit the way that it is. So this is as light as I go and I love it because it's super easy to pack down and easy to use. If you look at some of the Sony videos when they first announced this camera, they show it using with a monitor, but how they put the monitor makes it really difficult for you to kind of hold a handle. So 
uh, a quick solution for this is going to be uh, fairly simple. So small rig as usual comes up with a million other things, but this has been around for a little bit. This is the um, articulating, uh, articulating magic arm. And I'm using this with the board keys monitor. It's a really lightweight monitor. It's similar to the monitor uh, that we're giving away, which is really nice. Super lightweight, which I suggest using for this handle. I wouldn't put too much weight on the handle the way that it is now, uh, but this is a great solution. So again, small rig makes this uh, articulating magic arm. You hook it up to your monitor, fasten it, tighten it, whatever you need to, it holds pretty well. Um, and what's great about you know some of these monitors is having the in and the out, and I'll talk about that, how we can use that with a transmitter, if we wanna use it for a video village in our transmitter, and how that all kind of plays in together. But to make the handle kind of usable, feasible, uh, what we wanna do is we wanna put it in the first handle hole, um, and that is gonna give us uh, the most ability to basically still use the handle, have a monitor, uh, and have that all kind of like set up properly, which is, you know, kind of like the easiest solution or at least the easiest kind of run and gun solution that you would want uh, out of a, a little kit like this. So this is what it looks like. This is how the monitor arm is. This is it with the monitor and you can always bring the monitor down a little bit lower or even have it sideways if you're on the side of your tripod uh, filming an interview uh, uh, or something like that. So it actually looks like this. And again, highly recommended. I use it on uh, a few cameras. I've been using it on my uh, Ursa G2 as well. Um, there's a few different versions of it because this is a quarter 20. Um, this is the one I'm using for this, but they actually have ones that kind of fit into the pins so you don't get any spinning. But if you tighten this well, it won't move around for you. It's pretty sturdy. So this right now is probably the easiest, most lightweight kind of situation I have with this camera. And again, I've used it. It's really light, easy to pack down. I can just take off uh, this entire situation with the handle and then pack them both separately if I wanted to, or if I want to do quick kind of run and gun, walk away from this, disconnect it from this clip here. And now I've got this little unit back to where I need to go and that's it, I'm ready to go. So that's really what's exciting about this camera, this cageless design, less weight. Uh, but again, you can, use, uh, you can use some of these setups for your other cameras if you have them. The thing is you don't wanna invest in things that are just camera specific. I like to invest in things that I can reuse. So let's get into kind of more of a, a production ready camera. We'll have a follow focus and all the bells and whistles that kind of go along with it. So first things first, I would use an adapter. You can use a smart adapter or you can use kind of a dummy adapter. This one is a decent uh, smart adapter. It's fairly cheap. It's okay, it works with some of the lenses, some it doesn't. I don't really rely on it for that. I, it's more for manual lenses. This is the uh, Altson adapter. It's fairly cheap, I'll leave a link below. And this is what I use to adapt, obviously, some of the cinema lenses. If it's an EF lens, which I'm using on some of the Blackmagic cameras as well. So if you're coming from Blackmagic, don't feel like you have to go out and buy new, a whole new range of lenses, because it works great uh, as is. So being, I'm gonna use this Rokinon uh, 85 on here. So let's lock that in, it's nice and sturdy. So now we've got a little bit more of a kind of heavier situation. Um, and let's take a look and see what happens when I hook up uh, this unit on top of it. And we'll also put a follow focus and everything along with that. Let's take a look at that. So first I start with this Camvate quick release mount. Um, I also have the uh, smaller uh, rails here from small rig. I went with the six inch versions just because I'm probably not gonna be using a V mount on the back. Uh, I can use a micro one on the side and I'll show you what that looks like. Or you can mount it on the back this is a personal choice. I just wanted to keep this as small as possible. So now I have this set up the way that it is here. Uh, and basically we're gonna add the follow focus and the map box. Um, I'm using uh, the Tilta follow focus, which is under $100. It's great, I have two of them and I'm using them for multiple cameras. Again, something you can reuse for future cameras. They work, they work really nice and I've had them for a while. So uh, definitely something I would recommend. Now next is the Tilta map box. Uh, obviously there's a ton of videos out there. I've used this before on uh, two other cameras. 
under $100, great matte box. You can put one filter in, which is enough for me for most uh, occasions, whether I wanna put in an ND specifically, or if I wanna do a Pro Mist or something like that, this'll do the job. And it's really easy. It comes with rings that adapt to the lenses. And I think it's a smart choice uh, for the price. I know Small Rig has one as well, but I'll put the link for this uh, below as well. So here's the rig basically with everything that I would need uh, to basically have a nice little production kit going on here. If I wanted to add anything, I could, but the weight itself and the balance of it works really, really well. It's nice and light. I can easily handle the grip here, not worry about where the monitor is placed. I can adjust my monitor any times. And I've got uh, great audio from doing a quick interview and it's close. Uh, this is gonna do a great job for that. So packing this thing uh, into one small bag, you're ready to go. Where some of my other cameras, obviously the Arisa G2 is really big and requires a huge bag to take with me just for all that. But I really wanna show you what it looks like also with a transmitter. I know it might be overkill for some, but you know this will give you some options here and show you how you can use an external monitor uh, and transmit to like a video village or even for a reference monitor while you're shooting that's much larger than any of these monitors. What's good about that is you can do uh, from this particular monitor, you have HDMI in and HDMI out. You would feed the out into the transmitter and that transmitter would then transmit to another transmitter, uh, obviously attached to an external monitor. So let's see what this looks like. So for something like this, I would use the Mars 400S. I know they've got new versions of it, but this is what I got. It works great. It's got SDI and HDMI in, which is really, really nice. Um, and then basically I would just use a quarter 20 screw here that looks something like this use it right here on the back. I don't mind so much where it's gonna be uh, placed, laid out, as long as it's out of the way. Okay, there we go. I can still grab my handle, do what I need to do. It's hooked up back here, and if I wanna bring in my HDMI, I can use obviously a shorter cable. Now, as you can see, this is with all the cables kind of put in place. I've got my transmitter, my mic, follow focus, map box, everything that I need. Um, cables all in place, my monitor, this is it. This rig right now, I can still hold it, use the handle, it's all usable, and I can obviously put this on a tripod or you know, it, hook it up in a way where I wanna put it on a slider and it's still gonna be balanced pretty nicely. The weight is still manageable compared to some of the bigger cameras, so I think this is a nice little rig setup. Um, I can still do handheld with this. Uh, transmit what I need to transmit and basically be good to go. If you don't have a budget for a big director's monitor, you can pick up, uh, you know, one of these basic kind of HD monitors, you know, they're a hundred bucks or so, and you can pick them up on Amazon, hook your transmitter up or your receiver uh, to that monitor. And if you have a power station, if you're doing somewhere in a location where you can power everything up, this is a great solution uh, and the transmitter works really great. The latency on it is minimal compared to, you know, obviously some other ones. You know, it's not a Teradek, but it's very, very, uh, very, very good for what it is for the price. What we're doing now is, this is a small rig handle. It's kind of got the red style handle. It's kind of small, so everything's tiny. It's a little bit more lightweight. Uh, we've got the small rig kind of articulating uh, unit here, you tighten this up, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna twist. You can adjust here, uh, you know, how stiff you want this or loose depending on the type of monitor. But this I use for like kind of a heavier monitor. If I was going for like a seven inch monitor and the weight was really kind of on the camera itself, I wouldn't use the handle in that previous setup. So let me show you what, I, what I'll do to set this up. Uh, basically, I put a little NATO rail in where I have these uh, two here, I'm gonna use this nader roll, put it in, and use the handle. You gotta love small rig, man. They have everything for every situation. Um, and I know they're coming out for a cage for this camera. Again, I'm showing you a cageless design just to keep the light, keep it lightweight, give you a few options of what may or may not work. I can't wait to see what that cage looks like. There's also one from Condor Blue uh, that I'm waiting on to see what that is gonna be like. So now with this NATO rail, I can just put this monitor right on here, hook this back on, 
and now I can use this little kind of sprig uh, attachment here um, just to manage the cable a little bit more if I wanted to just to tighten it up this way it doesn't move that so now this is another setup and it's really really low profile here um, and simple to use this is no audio it does keep it a little bit lighter um, again the NATO uh, hook up here to the camera on the two quarter 20s you've got the handle from small rig articulating uh, piece here that hooks up to the handle and then any monitor what's good about it again is if you have if you do have a heavier monitor um, this would probably be a better solution for you also extremely compact uh, compared to obviously having uh, this there if you're not using the audio for certain situations both are you know great great setups easy to use um, and again it's all about kind of customizing your camera the way that you want to use it there is no better you don't have to get every one of these pieces there might be some small pieces that you use i'm just giving you the information i have uh, from using these rigs in the past and again they'll work with future cameras as well but this camera being cageless easy to mount it's what makes it a little bit more special i think than some of the other cameras and the image is fantastic uh, that goes along with it i've been using it now for quite a few weeks really happy with it but just wanted to share my thoughts on that so thanks again for watching guys don't forget to subscribe also check out our instagram channel and make sure uh, that you put in the comment why you would want this monitor i think this is going to be a great addition uh, for this camera or any other camera it's a great little monitor it's super light um, i'll leave a description below for this monitor again we'll be announcing in about three weeks so please follow like and subscribe put in your comments why you would want this monitor um, and again good luck everyone and i will see you on the next one